somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, we are all incredibly excited because it's time for the fall of the House of Usher. This is episode four, The Black Cat and oh, poor Pluto oh. right here. Anyways, this series has been phenomenal. You guys all know that. Enough of my yapping. Answer. Oh, I, I'm just ready, willing, and able to keep this going. I am seriously <laughs> just psyched and loving the Flanniverse. Huh. I don't even know TM. what to say. First three episodes, absolute just home runs. This series has been so incredible. So far, three episodes in, I'm going to say it's my favorite of the Flanniverse. So I know that's early. But I said it in episode two. Three episodes <laughs> in, this one's my favorite. I Yeah, I mean, so far, these first three episodes have been a banger. And I accidentally just saw the description here, which I didn't. Let's go! <laughs> guy but it's a very specific pussy cat oh he's trying to do the swap i need a black cat female please tell me you can handle that oh, oh. handle that just fine she's got a little the collar sequel, like a cat the old uh switcheroo yeah the old meet the parents this isn't a no kill shelter you that wasn't what gets... was on his cat was it no it was a little plea a p uh medallion well, just wait, but also, could she be end up being a cat and attacks him? With tiny little kitty hot tubs. They hate that. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Just like that. Oh, what's her picture going to look like, I wonder? Okay. Oh. <laughs> you look. Saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> I guess daddy's out getting a latte or something. Oh. Ooh, Ooh that's a bad one. Hey, dad, I'm kind of busy. News. You know why so many people use denial to get by? It's Lenore again. Uh, this is your lab, your animals. I don't know. I didn't send her there. Maybe the $50 million bounty has something to do with it? The fuck you been doing to those things, huh? You're not putting this on me. My wife is in the ICU. She's this maimed. Is maimed. What are we even... oh, they're falling apart. I, I have to launch. Right what I, are we... I have to launch. See? Hmm. Just selfish. Hmm. This is just awful. I'm so sorry. Camille was such a... Why is it talking? It really, it shouldn't be talking right now. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Throw chip wrist off my sister's face, and I'm sad enough. Enough. Put it in your own words, then, Napoleon. Plagiarize candle in the wind for all I care to hear me right now. <laughs> I don't care if Madeline tells you to fart into a microphone on national television. Do it. He's been doing a lot with farting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear anything, but sir... Yes, sir. You get me? Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> sounds sounds a lot like his old boss. Have Tammy or Frederick do your sound bites. Don't call me that. This. Leo. What? Don't like it. Cut me out of Give my share to the next junkie tart you find at the ER. Ooh. Jonah's not really in the well. This is what I wanted you to see. The night guard was supposed to be Philip Fasulo. He works most weeknight shifts. Can't, can't even see a face on him. No. Mm -mm. We don't know who called. And he's the only one seen it, so it's not like if. Yeah. Stop right there. Oh, now you can see it. He's going to recognize it. Well, you can't enhance this image. You see it all the time on TV. They, they hit a button. <laughs> <laughs> you recognize it? Oh. Mm. Maybe if you could, I don't know, enhance it. <laughs> okay. oh, oh, that one got me you got, that one got, you got me. me your honor we should consider the possibility this is intentional if I was a half hour late to your honor's court I'd expect to be charged with contempt what are you suggesting Mr. Duplat just an observation that feels at times like there are different rules for people like the ushers and apparently their counsel I'm going to have to use that line. Just an observation. Calling him out. I we're just discussing the parameters of contempt of court, Mr. Pem. Yours and his own, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is it you? Maybe you talk to the feds. Let's get a leg up on the others. Didn't think we'll go this far, and now there's no way out. <laughs> you know how much money I spent to smooth over oh, those chimps? Believe me, I do. I had to build 10 fucking miles of habitat. <laughs> <laughs> the device absolutely does not increase aggression. Where is mm. it now? Well, with the extra adrenaline. 
Just put this out of its misery, just free up some money for Leo's video games or Tammy's bugs? Okay, well look, we're moving to human trials. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's what I've been waiting to hear. Yeah, yeah, we are. Uh, we're ready. Oh, no you're not. I know, I've been... Um... It's important. Because that's what he needs. Listen to this happy, upbeat background music mm -hmm. that we don't get much in this show. This was in Maury's bag. No, that isn't hers. We're sure it's hers. We can't open it, though. Well, I'm telling you, this isn't hers. It's his. No, that's the that's one that's the burner. burner. The burner the burn. phone. It is the burner phone. Yeah. You shouldn't see if it unlocks. But it isn't hers. But he know. That's what I'm saying. The burner phone's his. No, that's the one Perry gave her for the yes. party. Yes. It's usually the our anniversary. Ah. What about her ring? Her wedding ring. Have they found that yet? She, oh, she took it off. Try the phone. See, he knows he knows, he knows the yeah. password. So that's what I was saying. Like, I think he gotcha. Oh, they got it enhanced. Now he's got to recognize her from the bar that night. Enhanced ring a bell. Oh, there's the face. She knows too. Interesting. She's looking right at the camera too. I need to. Do some things before I go back to the office. The bartender who hasn't aged in 40 years. Mm -hmm. Is this where the bar used to be? Damn it, Madeline, this is crazy. <laughs> she is, she's going to the bar, right? Of well, what's left of it. Yeah. Oh, look at the raven. Nice touch. No. <laughs> oh, no. oh, look at that. Think they'll show us more what happened that yeah, night? Just looking at her. She's they keep saying how incredibly smart she is. It's going to be her already. Are you saying that? I miss some, definitely miss something over my head. Do, do you think the the old the old boss is behind the wall like big pharmaceutical companies a lot of them they, they test their drugs in lower income countries do you know that so perhaps it offers oh them God. access to medication i guess it's, it's kind of like why this opportunity is why it's going to you opportunity uh, this uh oh. goes on my heart tony stark's heart <laughs> keep your heart beating perfectly in rest for many Many more decades to come. Mm. That's a lovely pitch to yeah. somebody in a desperate situation. Mm -hmm. Yep. You are the worst kind of person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just the way, she, the way she delivers it, you know. And Dr. Ruiz will perform the surgery herself? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she is, you know, she's very, very excited about this, too. She doesn't she even know, know about it. <laughs> She just puts on a smile the whole time. Oh, gosh. All right, well, She's so good. They said that you, she is just as bad inside oh, as he got was. into the phone, didn't he? Yep. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the wallpaper on that one's factory preset, if it matters. What does that mean? I mean, Mom uses pictures of cakes. <laughs> so probably not hers. One, 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 one. That's six, 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 nine, nine, nine. Zero, one, two, three, four, that's, five. That's what it was. It's true. This creepy ass cat. Gonna yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, Dave? Yeah, I can do it. Well, now that you mention it. <laughs> People grieve in different ways. <laughs> oh, oh, the eyes. That's so awesome. Creepy little <laughs> Not you. Is it going to be closer the next time he looks over? Oh yeah, it's got to be. Oh! 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 Joe's nose. Joe's. He's hallucinating, isn't he? <clears throat> oh! It's bringing in rats. It brought him a present. Uh, yeah. He presented it. Mm -hmm. Or she presented it, sorry. And we might have to move. <laughs> Displacement. Uh, 
go-to coping mechanism. Well, denial and now displacement. Considered positive sublimation was when a person chooses to redirect strong emotions into an object or an activity that's appropriate and safe. So instead of lashing out at your employees, you pour your energy into kickball. Oh! And there's Leo. Yep. What the hell? Oh! I was talking, I was talking! Jesus! The hell is Sorry. wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you talk about displacement all you like, you don't point that shit at me, you understand? I will knock your goddamn lights out. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I respect you, Augie. I do respect you, I always have. So tell him. <laughs> tell him what I saw. <laughs> Had a funny way of showing it over the years. Oh, we're gonna go way back in time. I think he's starting to maybe. Do you remember <clears throat> the day we met? But of course I do. So did we just get a glimpse into how Leo? Oh, I'm pretty sure. This face the title, was cut up pretty bad. The title of the episode is a black cat. Never imagined we'd end up here. Oh. Well, he doesn't hear it. Uh, please. I have 36 names on this list, and I've had 30 doors shut in my face. Just hear me out. I'm not after you. I just want to get to the bottom of some things, set some things right, please. God, they have a history. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Ugh. She seems to be like the well, voice of reason. Go way know? back. Yeah. He had any idea that any of this was going on, he would have taken action. Yeah, that's right. I mm. When Brevin enrolls a new patient, that enrollment letter goes through several departments for verification. And some of them are even supposed to contact the patient and confirm the data, arranged payment, things like that. Confirm that they're competent and actually consenting as well. Your signature is here, next to Brevitt's. And here, here. He needed a oh. new uh, fall guy. Yep. yep. He's the... I'd be looking to it as soon as possible. I just don't recall. You're good parents who can't afford the medicine, so yeah. You're smart not to recall. Hard to say the wrong thing. Even harder to do the right thing. Oh, God. Nailed he it. crushed that. Nailed it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Can we get this guy? Yeah. <laughs> who is that guy? Yeah, but about the form. Oh, people, you know, I think that... Mm. The real laboratory, okay? The real lab is the real world. But the signatures know what the, the real world is, Rod. <sighs> That's Roderick talking right now. It's 100%. The complaints and the lawsuits and the investigator and the whole mess. Why? Mm -hmm. Run out of patience. And then they attack us for it. People. My signature was forged. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It definitely was on at least a half a dozen forms. He suckered them into forms. Yep. You come to me, you tell me that your name was forged on important internal documents, documents that apparently have been stolen, I might add. Well, then you're not on the team at all. I'm just asking you to explain. And I am explaining to you that this company is a team. This isn't just about sticking together. This is about forming a, a fu fucking oh, wall. Yeah. <laughs> I am the commanding officer, and I don't want to hear anything out of your mouth that isn't sir, yes, sir. No. Yep. Exactly what he fucking said in the boardroom. Oh, wow. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, Zach. Just like his kid. Yep. We're all on the same team. Everybody approves everything, no matter whose name is on the form. <laughs> <laughs> you know what kind of car I drive, Rod? It's a Ferrari. Nice. Yeah, you bet your ass it's nice. <laughs> Five-speed gated shifter. 2.9 liter V8 puts out 292 horses. You can read the brochure. <laughs> you drive a car like that, you make a statement about who you are, where you're going, and how you get there. Did he just turn into Matt McConaughey from Wolf of Wall Street? If your nose clean, your mouth shut, and your eyes open, pretty soon you'll be driving any car you want. Because I'm a candy man riding Willie and Wonka. <laughs> 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 you play your cards right. One day all this could be yours, Charlie Bucket. Ah. Uh, let's get a drink, huh? It's gotta be noon somewhere. <laughs> get a job. How about a degree? You gonna get one of those too? Hey now. Oh. Ooh. Maybe I go to a competitor first. I get in before Grizz can destroy my reputation. Well, maybe he said I'm a part of the club now. He's got my back. Maybe I stay quiet. And you're still broke. 
Remember what his sister was saying in the last episode? Get she, close. Get close. She made me, I made her help her, whatever she said. That's what he's doing. Mm -hmm. You say at Fortunata, they'll never respect you. You can't be part of the club now. You can't be unequal. Not when they've watched you eat their shit. That's just nature, which is doubly f because your father built this company. It is your birthright, Roderick. Our birthright. Hmm. I don't remember that in the first episodes. My bad. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Long fellow. Yeah. Just so sucked in. Mm -hmm. You are going to keep eating that shit. And you're going to make Rufus Griswold think it's your favorite food. Yep, just like she said. We're going to call him tomorrow. And you are going to become best friends with August Dupin. Interesting. Ah, uh, so did... Oh, I'm just going to wait to see kind of how it happens. So much speculation you could do. <laughs> Go away from me. Guinness. <gasps> oh, right away in the morning. Oh, you find that little fucker yet? <laughs> <laughs> Don't complain about the drugs. It's getting to be a thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Always had it under control like you got some kind of magic power, but baby, you are off your game. That PlayStation thing in the back. Yeah. You call it a favorite to me if you like it better. Humor me. <laughs> <laughs> He looks rough. <laughs> Sorry to show up like this and take a minute. <laughs> a lot of stairs. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. He only takes the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Call him long winded, seventh floor. You've not been here before, have you? No. Uh, I've got a phone I want you to look at. Yep. Boyfriend just resigned. He's dead and he doesn't know it. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> hey. I was hoping for some drugs. I'm <laughs> <laughs> going through a rough time, and Maury, you know, well, Maury, she's melted, you know. <laughs> oh. I can't help but wonder why she was even at this... Perry's orgy. Please, don't fucking say that word. Sorry. Uh, Perry's cuddle puddle. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Stick to the classics. Oof. Few bumps a day till the edge wears off. Oh, oh, oh geez. Got him again. Oh, got him again. Ow! Grab that cat! There's the eye? Yeah. Oh, oh. oh they're showing it. Oh, oh, it sliced his eyeball. How do you even fix that? Take this cocaine if that's all right. You're not going to help him out? I'll pump up. Today here in the studio, we are extremely... <laughs> <laughs> the cardboard setup. Look at Pat McAfee there. All to celebrate the new lifestyle brand Goldbug, which launches on Thursday. All right, well, why don't you all head backstage? Oh, there she is. Yep. Oh, and she's going to see that. Everyone knows that life is short. I say, fine. But what about what is in your control? I'm built... And you can too. We built this. <laughs> Starship. Of course. Uh, Starship. We built this body with work and soul. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot yes. believe they're giving us Starship. So, what do you do for a sliced eyeball? I. Don't even I don't know. What, what, like, Can you even fix that? Is he on that much pain meds or something? Well, he's got a lot of good stuff. Another just dead animal. On another dead animal. Oh, a pigeon. <laughs> That's fresh. Yeah. That cat is doing some work. Oh, oh something's in there. no. This is coming quick, isn't it, gents? Oh, um. mouse. Oh, boy. Uh. Hey, um, thanks for coming. Oh, oh, oh no. who's back? Cats are predators. It's in their genes. She's got that bell. It's harmless. Oh. Unless you're a mouse. Harmless, yeah. Look at his uh, eye. Uh, <laughs> that looked normal. Well, I'm a little surprised she put him in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look, she was giving up. Oh, look, he's got Thor's hammer. She's in the walls. <laughs> That's actually apex predators, you know. Randy yeah. Orton. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, it's gonna come yes. down and hit an RKO on him. They can narrow their shoulders and chests to squeeze into tiny spaces. So the second time she's doing like an informational dump, yep. and then wham. <laughs> Every time they fall. Oh, he's going to take a fall off the balcony, isn't he? They're predators because they're deficient. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. Here it comes. It's a... Whoa! Oh, he's going out the window. Yeah. Oh! oh! Did its eyes... Oh. oh, just like a cat. What the? F oh, he's going out the window. He's, yep. He's 1,000% going out the window. But, oh, I don't know. First, he's going to go crazy and destroy his apartment with that hammer. Don't fucking move! Oh! I can buy a new wall! I can buy a new loft! I can even get a heads up to send me a new <laughs> hammer! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Wow. Oh, in the hotel. Right in the hospital. That's nothing. Oh, just a little bump, he said. Ah. Oh. <laughs> He's going to use her fingerprint. Wouldn't do facial recognition. Yeah. Look at his eyes. Is he going to take the bandages off? He's going to open her, her eyes. eyes. Oh, because oh, the eye. No oh. way. No, he's going to. Oh, come on, dude. Well, they... oh, oh. Really? Come on. Why you, oh, my God. It's like I can't stop watching, but I can't see it. <laughs> like there's no way that'll register. Hard to believe. Look, I know the rules. I would never see any of these girls outside the house. <laughs> Are you sure that it was her? She was standing right by Ah, oh, same wig. Did you get a freeze frame or anything? It's a live stream. You know I can't get a freeze frame. <laughs> freeze frame. <laughs> I want to email Lauren. And tell her to tell Candy to give us a wide berth. It's unprofessional. So she's gonna write a oh, bad review for, 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 the, girl. for the madam. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Uh, uh, just uh, she's given one star to the uh, to the madam that supplies Candy. So rule was not outside the house, and they broke the rule. But he didn't notice her. Besides, you're the proof. Positive, you're a walking rebuttal to all those assholes out there. You've taken more Ligodon than just about any. <laughs> <laughs> you are my most beautiful, perfect proof. You know, I could use a little cheering up now you mention it. No. Oh, oh here comes the static. Oh. Is that Perry? Yeah. What's up? Excuse us, please. <laughs> Dog came by a few nights ago to the house, unannounced. And what is it? Here we go. Big reveal. Castle. Same as mom. Victorine will get her little heart miracle working first order. Same as mom. Stop. It's interesting how the kids have all these like long names. Oh, it's gonna happen. The kids have all the long names and they refer to them by something else. Yeah. Hey, what's all that? Doing a little remodeling. Oh my god, is the whole place gonna be torn yeah. up? Yep. Mm hmm Oh my god. 
It always gets staticky when something's about to go down. That's what oh that. my god. Almost got her. Ah. Oh. Look at him, he's all scratched up. Come in. Ah. Whoa! Oh. You don't see it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he's hallucinating. Yeah, he's losing it. Well, I mean, it's happening, right? But oh, this oh, is how, this it how it happens. Oh, stop! Oh! oh! Nothing in there. It's never even there. <gasps> wow. Make sure he's done. Yep. Yeah, it's, it had the collar on. Did you see that? Yep. Oh! It had the Pluto collar. Oh, that's what I was saying. Like I <laughs> thought the collar meant something there. Yep. Pluto oh, and... never even gone. Uh. Yeah. Should, should we bring back the ASMR? <laughs> we got a comment. About Listening that. for the sirens. We can do this every episode. How great was Henry Thomas? All you guys are. Stupid. <laughs> this was so Sir, I'm awesome. need you to lower your voice. You weren't around. Oh my god. For Midnight Mass. Midnight Mass, Mass, dude. It went up for like two minutes. It was horrifying. It was scary. It was the sounds of a boat burning. And now we just hear the background noises of a city. Wait, did you just say motor boating? No, boat. No, no, <laughs> boat burning. No, she was screaming. A human was burning. Oh my god. She was screaming, but you could hear the flames in the boat. We just gave him a big spoiler. He's not watching. He needs to watch it. He yeah. Watch Thanks, it. pals. Sorry. Why don't you tell me that the, oh, the sled was named Rosebud while you're at it? <laughs> you know what? He <laughs> <laughs> at least got it. That's Citizen all that matters. King. Yeah, Citizen Kane. Never seen it. So uh, usually rank the number one film of all time. That or Casablanca. Citizen King. I've never seen either of them. I don't think we're going to get anything. No, I don't I think. Do. Yeah, I think we're good. I watched, yeah, I, think we're good. <laughs> I, watched Gone, I watched Gone with the Wind. It was a terrible waste of four hours. Oh, <laughs> uh, because whatever. Wow. Oh, what an episode. Oh. The black cat. Oh. No cats were hung you know, in the film. Oh, uh, so you just, again, we, we talked about this on the la at the end of the last episode where you kind of know how it's going to happen, but... You don't know how it's going to happen, and the creativity has just been outstanding. The way, uh, the like the graphic stuff they show, it's not like we've talked about before. It isn't like it's saw level or hostile level type stuff, but like with all the scratches with the cats and the, the cat in this episode, and the way they did it, and the, the slice on the eyeball was just, oh, oh, like you could feel every one of those cuts and scratches. It was just, just outrageous. But the way they had him just going completely crazy destroying his whole apartment with hemsworth's hammer <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he said he could get another one get from another him. one uh it was just absolutely out of this world we finally got the reveal that roderick came came clean to his sister about the heart condition and and what's been going on with everything and just like mom yeah yep, we found just that out. just like the mom with everything and they both also recognize Verna from the bar, and clearly the sister went back there looking for it, uh, and all she saw was the raven. Oh, that was a really that nice time, the way the thing was just looking at her. So, I mean, okay, so we're going to be going into episode four here after this one, and I just... It feels like there's so much to tie up yet, and so much story that this could was be told. A, this was this four. Four. Or, or sorry, this we're was halfway four. done. We're halfway done. Cool. Yeah, and uh, halfway there, halfway done. And there's so much story to tell. This has been just incredible. I simply can't wait to see where it goes. I, again, I feel like a broken record, but <laughs> the acting was incredible. The writing, of course, the source material is great because it comes from Edgar Allan Poe. But the way Mike Flanagan, and in this uh, case, Danny Parker. The spin they were able to put on it was just great. Here in episode five. Uh, it was just, just oh, maybe it wasn't Danny Parker. Anyhow, the writers have been fantastic. You guys all know that. This is by far my favorite Mike Flanagan series, and I said that after episode two. Oh, oh man. Re Carla is just crushing it. Yeah, so uh, Rebecca is uh, the okay. writer. Rebecca the Klinger? Klinger? 
Is this mash? Klingle. Klingle. <laughs> okay, great job. <laughs> oh my God! Just uh, how they incorporated the cat being in the walls and doing the presenting of the of the dead animals too, and then how she came in as like apex predator, mm-hmm. obviously Orton. But uh, this was just so much fun, and then even where Bill built didn't even see that she was right there yeah. as one of the one of the aerobics girls that he was using for his live stream and Tamerlane like had to yell at him about it but oh my god and then even how Zach Guilford as the young Roderick where he's being the good soldier saying sir yes sir it, it, they, he gave him the same Total. build the wall speech you yeah. know just everything hand in hand and even now too you see how like crazy um, Frederick is getting because he's resorted to doing cocaine because <laughs> he doesn't know what to think. He's he's tried using his wife, who's like pretty much comatose at this point. He tried using her finger, her face, yep. and he's gonna try. Maybe he'll eventually figure out the passcode just to see what's on the phone. <laughs> so I'm wondering if that's gonna just be what that's yeah. gonna be like the heartbeat on the floor. It's gonna drive him nuts and drive him insane. Figures it out. Oh my god! Man, hey, man, look at that. Uh, but so far, this has just been amazing. I didn't want to see Leo go. I was, I was, I was liking the guy a lot, but God, because he seemed like he was kind of a good person. He was a drug addict, but it seemed like he was a good person compared to the rest yeah, of the family. Yeah, because he said he wasn't interested. He's like, take me out of the will. Yeah, I he don't even care. said I'm that. I'm done with all of this. So. To which all they said was, and Ruth talked, and he's like, can, it's speaking again. Can we get rid of it? But, yeah. oh, my God, halfway there, I, I can't oh. wait. Start the second half. Yeah, this, this was an interesting episode because, so for the first um, two children that we lost, obviously Perry was – you know, kind of being sketchy with his, his his brother's wife and kind of throwing this party in an abandoned building that he shouldn't have been doing that. And in the second one, you know, she was snooping, you know, trying to get dirt on her sister. But this one, um, Leo wasn't really, I mean, yeah, he, you know, he pulled a, a Greg from Meet the Parents and was trying to replace the cat. And, oh, you yeah, know, I don't think the cat was ever even gone. I think that was all his imagination because right, Pluto right. came back but, at the but end. But that's, that's what they show yeah, us that, yeah. you know, the, the cat was trying to be replaced or whatever. Yep. Um, which, again, I think was just kind of a figment of his imagination. It, yeah, well, 100%. Right, right. <laughs> but it's like they don't, they didn't show him. What I'm trying to get at is they didn't show him like doing anything like. Terrible. Yeah, he, he was, you he know, was stepping he, out on his boyfriend a little bit yeah. with earlier on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, but it, as far as in the context of going after another one of his siblings, right, right, like he was the guy who was he was trying to help Perry. You know, uh, the, the the other sister was over there talking yeah. to her. The brother came over. He seems like he's he was worked up about he, he, was, the, he was yeah he was you know he was he was the one who said you know write me out of the will. I don't care. I'm not doing this. So it's interesting that we saw him go. Because he didn't seem to have the same level of, uh, I don't know, you know, yeah. you, you know, your, your time is up. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're going to get what you got coming to you yep. type thing. And so I, I think this one was was very, very interesting in the portrayal that, um, <clears throat> that you know, it, it showed him under and, and everything they did with, um, with, with Ver, Ver, Verna, 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 Verna. Yep. Um, because again, she, well, and the other thing is, she kind of gave him a second chance not to get the cat, per se. But it was a little. There's no second chances. She's death. So right, it's right. But I mean, the, another a later option out. Like so with Perry for that death. Right for Perry. Yeah. Hey, you can stop it all. You can leave mm-hmm. for um, for Camille. Hey, you shouldn't mm-hmm. be here. Leave. And for this one, it kind of felt like the hey that cat's taken. Stop. But it wasn't like this clear cut, like yeah. He's like, I'm gonna do it. Do you know who I am? Right, right. So it was, it was interesting. But um, how about the guy who played the young, um, uh, the young Augie? Oh yeah. I mean, his awesome. his delivery of that that, <laughs> that speech, speech at the table was absolutely incredible. And if I remember, it's a, it, was, it looked like a one take, didn't it? No, I mean, they did cuts. It was it cuts. They did cuts. Okay. Um, but in any regard, his delivery phenomenal. So. A different storyline, a little bit different feel to previous episodes, but same with the incredible writing, the acting, the delivery of the lines by everybody included, just phenomenal. And, you know, we're halfway through this this series now, and it has just it has just been episode after episode after episode of absolute just 
flawless Crush. delivery. And and I just, I don't know, guys, this, this has been incredible. Shout out, Mike. Shout out, uh, Rebecca. Uh, another good episode here. I feel like it's just a hair under the previous episode of episode three. Shout out to the young Augustine, because uh, unfortunately, I don't show his yeah, name in here didn't, didn't show it. Um, for what we're trying to use for. But uh, again, Carla crushed it. This whole episode so far, right, and now we're seeing the pattern, right, of Carla showing up, doing mm -hmm. her thing. And, and it's like, all right, how did it happen? But they're starting to show... You probably have already dominated all the episodes so far. So for <laughs> yeah. us, we start, we're starting to see like how potentially like he fell in the beginning, right? Yep. That was kind of the scare. Now they she's they've set up the table for Tammy. I think is going to be next. I'm predicting because they kind of set it up last episode. Did this episode? I'm pretty sure she's next. If I'm guessing, or Vic, Verna met with Vic about mm -hmm. the heart. So. Yeah, but well, that's later in the week. I yeah. feel that's yeah. probably later on Who because knows? they've had multiple visits with Tammy. But again, this is just—I don't even know what to say besides sounding like a broken record. So far, pretty phenomenal for the guesses uh, for older Roddy. I think I don't know how he's going to go out. Because he, he's going to go out. I don't, I don't yeah. think it's going to be because of the. Illness. Yeah, I don't think he's going to let that take him. No, yeah. I'm just trying to think about how yeah, that's going to go now. That's where my brain's gonna, at. Is his sister going to go out? What too, is? Uh, well, what is she even doing in the that's basement? That's the thing. What's like the going sister on in the basement. Yeah. I don't think. What's I don't think she's on? down there. I think uh, right, Roddy has right. something else going on. But I think that's where his boss is at. I think he bricked up his boss in the wall. But well, maybe I don't know. But it's interesting. The sister hasn't even been touched yet so yeah that's yeah. the question is the sister you already know yeah, so don't yeah. tell us yeah, but. no spoilers but yeah maybe only he well, made the she, deal. She, she's a genius and left mensa because she was bored maybe she helps with the artificial heart thing well, no she's <laughs> a genius in like algorithms and tech oh and well still maybe that's and she's idea. obviously smart so don't get me wrong i'm not saying oh. she's smart computers but she's smart but i don't know if it's well we could have used heart. her help tonight folks we had a lot of tech <laughs> issues thanks for hanging well, with us the other night too we had some tech issues yeah, so, so. <laughs> well you know what four down four to go halfway there living on a prayer so for <laughs> diamond dave appleton oak that's mason quinn i'm of course the answer we'll definitely catch you on the next one pals